Hey Sammy fam, today we are testing out some various baby foods here. Sammy girl and I have a big announcement to share with you guys later in the video that will explain everything. So we have a bunch of different things to sample today. We have spiral pasta in a turkey meat sauce. I'm super excited about that one, as well as this other pasta one. What is this? Chicken and Parmesan cheese ravioli. Oh. I just like pasta. It might actually be a baby food. Mashed potatoes and meatloaf and gravy. Uh, we'll see. That could be bad. Banana, orange, and pineapple. No, this is baby food, not cat food. Baby food, not cat food. Banana, orange, and pineapple. I don't like things that are miso, please. I don't like things that are like made with bananas mushed up in them usually. Don't like the taste, but uh, pear and blueberry. Yes. Yes. Please. I think that's going to be great. Beef and gravy. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to go and get all these ready. And we'll be back and do a little taste test fun. Aren't you guys excited? I am. Okay, so we have all our hot dishes ready here. Kind of got them mixed up. But we'll figure out what's what when we open it. Um, This is one of the pastas, so. And all I have to do for these is microwave them. Because that's convenient. really stuck on there. So this is the chicken and parmesan cheese ravioli. Doesn't look appetizing, but smells good. And I mean, it's pasta and a tomato sauce microwave. It's not going to look appetizing, but that's fine. What do we got in this one? First critique of this baby food. Oh, baby, you could not open this. No. This glue is adult proof. It's a baby. How is it adult proof? How can a baby open? Oh, there we go. Gotta be really careful opening this one because it's got these uh, juicy green beans. Can't shake it around too much. Spiral pasta with like a turkey meat sauce. Green beans here. Smells pretty good. Uh, last but not least, I think this is meatloaf and um, mashed potato. Again, baby proof, which I'm not sure is a plus or a con. If you're not going to raise a self reliant baby, baby's not going to learn how to feed itself. Babies don't have teeth. Babies can't do that. Gerber, I thought you were baby experts, you know. Gerber food, they should know what they're doing. Apparently not. Oh no. is the hardest thing to open in the world and then they make them super juicy so if you struggle to open it you will spill vegetable water everywhere perfect baby food for um, mom or dad on the go totally um, but what we got like green beans and carrots and juice um, the mashed potato and gravy looks rough mm, okay but we're gonna let's try these then we'll get into uh, or beef in a jar. Beef in a jar for babies. Let's go with this first. This is the uh, chicken ravioli with what, what, what was it? Chicken and Parmesan cheese ravioli in, in a tomato sauce. I have high hopes for this one, actually. It's a little bit um, sweeter than I would like. It's kind of like a candy tomato sauce. And I do not taste chicken, but uh, 
uh, I would compare it to like a Chef Boyardee if it was even sweeter and less meaty. It mainly just feels like these are less like ravioli, more like, like little dough dumplings. So, sorry babies that you're getting this inaccurate representation of Italian food. Maybe this one will be better. I can't really tip it because of all the juice in here, so. Oh, vegetable juice sounds weird, but now you can see. This is the um, the spiral pasta, what do you call that? I forgot. With uh, turkey, I think. That's a little bit better. A more varied flavor. Not quite as sweet, more like tangy flavor. You can see there's actually little like um, vegetables in here. Like I think I think I see pepper, red pepper. Little chunks of turkey. All this pasta is crazy overcooked. Um, it's packaged that way, but it's for babies who don't have teeth, so that makes sense. But man, that really sucks for babies. They're not getting like the optimum al dente mouthfeel. The green beans, no flavor. Hmm. I was going into this thinking about how babies destroy your life, keep you from achieving your dreams. Um, but I just feel sorry for babies because it's not quite real food, you know. Let's try the vegetables on the meat level. I, I, I like the vegetable medley more. drink this uh, veggie juice in here so I can tip this to show you guys. Whew. Okay. See, oh, there's juice in there too. But yeah, that's what we're dealing with, guys. This is what we're giving our children. Let's get some meatloaf. Oh, wow. That's straight up cat food. And I've had cat food, so. I do know what I'm talking about. The mashed potatoes are actually okay. The gravy's actually okay. This is the least um, candy-like sweet one so far. So I actually enjoy it the most. There's like a little bit of salt to it. actually okay these two again kind of sweet too sweet for me but and when you're having a pasta it's just depressing to have it be so soft let's go though try that banana orange and pineapple oh it's so juicy oh it's so juicy Okay guys, so I like, I generally do not like things that taste like banana but don't have, that but aren't just a banana, even if it's made of real banana, somehow it tastes like fake banana flavoring to me, but this, this tastes good, this is a great combination of flavors, banana, orange, or pineapple, the orange, the citrusiness really shines through, it's tangy, makes my mouth tingle, I like it, 
Uh, yeah. Buy this for your baby. Oh, it's stage two for about six months. I don't know what that means. I guess you can't give this to a newborn. Hmm. All right, here we also have a stage two. Um, pear and blueberry. You can um, you can really feel the like ground up pear texture in, in there, and I like that because it makes it much more real. And you look at the ingredients; it is just pears and blueberries, and that's that's great. No additives or anything. It's really good. Although it is just pears and blueberries. Why would you pay like $2 for this? Is that just getting pears and blueberries and making it in your blender? I don't know. I don't know. Let's not waste it. So let's finish these guys off. If I was going to feed this to my baby, I might add in some oregano. A dash of soy sauce to make it a little bit more savory. So how much do you have to worry about a baby's salt intake? Should babies be on a sodium restricted diet? I do not know. I'm not a baby expert. Maybe I should become one. This one's a little bit better with the vegetables in it. The turkey. Making the sauce taste a little less sweet. One thing I do like about these is being that they are baby portions. Um, what? 120 calories. 130 calories. 120 calories. All three of those dishes. 120, 130 calories each. Beautiful. Now I don't feel bad about myself for eating that. But let's get to this beef with gravy that I'm probably going to feel bad about because it's going to make me, my mouth feel bad because it sounds terrible. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Jesus. Okay, I've mentally prepared myself. Mm. It looks like a, looks like liquefied brain. What is in here? What am I actually eating? Beef, water, cornstarch, lemon juice concentrate. What? Oh, to maintain color. Because that color is beautiful. Yep. This, that baby's a monster. Oh. 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 No, that's terrible. That's terrible. I guess babies need protein too. Uh, but this is not, this is not the way. This is not the way to give your baby that protein. Oh my. These, these are good though, but I can't put my meat spoon back in there. It's too bad. Okay, there we go. Our baby food taste test. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. Uh, Sammy Girl and I's big announcement. So, you guys know we recently got married, and um, we have a brand new nephew. Bye.